Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, May the 18th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. We're using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our energy to create our best possible life now. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Let's see what we've got crack a in the energy. We have the Hanged Woman and the Knight of Wands. So this is where we're taking a moment to get our perspective and to set our, set our intention and get our energy going. And then the action has to come next, right? So first we set out to the universe, hey, here's what we've got going on. And we're going to allow ourselves to be in this place of attracting our best possible outcome. And then the universe starts working that energy and action begins whether it's initiated by the universe or initiated by you this is the knight of wands so it means there will be action taking place to move you forward toward whatever your goal is so let's see what else we have thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit we have the three of coins which means expansion growth prosperity it means putting the pieces in the right place without cutting corners or, or taking any shortcuts because you want this to be a stable growth and solid foundation for what you're building divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So you know you've got a ten of rods on that second card, but we don't know what the first one is, and we won't know what the third one is. But you do know the burden is being lifted because that's what that ten of wands, rods, wands, uh, signifies. Same diff, I just, the words get tangled sometimes. We have the four of cups, which is a divine offer coming in or something, a blessing in a brown paper bag. Obviously, it's a blessing in disguise. So when you get an offer, be sure to fully vet it before you say no. Because it's not that the opportunity will never come back again. It'll just take it a while to work its way back around. So we don't want to make it take the process take longer than we should, right? Relax. Now, this is where we let go of the stress of fear or uh, doubt or, sh you know, whatever's showing up, shadow energy. This is, you have to relax and just release. So, you know, I talk about this all the time. Uh, surrender, allow, and receive. That is my mantra in my mind. Surrender, allow, and receive. Stop trying to, to micromanage and, and let every little thing take hold of you. I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry as that creates stress, which blocks what you're trying to attract, right? Relaxing is good. That's part of the reason why meditation is so useful and helpful. Focus. Now, when you focus, you don't want to focus on uh, literal things when you're trying to manifest something amazing. Or sometimes we don't even know the details we're trying to manifest. We just know what the end result is. Focus goes with left brain thinking, which is about putting things together like business ideas, business plans, and letting yourself get to the literal pinpoint stuff. That's things you're going to do in the natural. But you've got to be able to allow yourself to do right brain when you're creating it. This is about left brain focus. I focus my logical mind, left brain, to make smart, effective business decisions. That's what that's about is when you're doing business or when you're in the place where you need the facts to be the facts, uh, that's different after it's already manifested and shown up for you, right? You're in that place. But don't, don't, in, uh, don't intersperse your uh, logic and when you're trying to manifest something, you're not fully capable of understanding its whole width right you don't want to squash it's what i'm saying don't dampen what the universe can do by your limited thinking take action be in the energy of allowing yourself to be ready for when the opportunity shows up don't him haw around so long that you don't that you just kind of kill its momentum just like that knight of wands take action and 
Soul time. This is about divine timing. We love soul time. It's a beautiful image. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow po the possibility of a new reality to emerge, one that embraces the concept that, that the corporal body is mortal and the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So when you understand you are in this, you're showing up in this world as a physical p person, a, a being of a human form. But within this human form, we have an animated energy of our soul energy, right? That's all about that, that spark that's within you. Everybody has that heart and soul energy. So this is telling you just because you think something has to happen in the physical a certain timing. Sometimes our soul is it's about the journey of the soul through this whole lifetime. So it's going to have its own set of timing. So don't try to rush yourself past what, what the universe is doing for you. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow your inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. So, when it's time for you to blossom, it will have been through all the time of growth and and a little bit of resistance from the world and all of that stuff. And then all of a sudden, you start to open up into your truest expression in your soul time, right? So, and there are no limits to what you can be or create, only in your thinking and your belief. Positive change. Dare to be different. I've, I've, I think I nailed that. <laughs> Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Amen to that. Many blessings and gifted individuals. Oh, sorry. Many brilliant and gifted individuals are were often not appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. We know this to be true for all the people that we could just rattle off a whole list of, of who they are. You know who they are for you. Um, it's, it's not everybody's ready to go on that path of change with you, but that's okay. You do what you can, and then you've left your legacy like you promised when you got here. So Princess of Wands is saying this is going to give you a nudge of how to take action. So, you know, that's very positive. She's giving you information on how to take action. The burden is lifted and the struggle is over. Ten of Wands, which you knew was there. So we love that confirmation. And the King of Pentacles. So this is abundance coming in. The King of Pentacles is a very solid masculine energy of the financial security or a financial promise from someone who's guaranteeing you, kind of backing you. It's also the... Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, Major Arcana. So in the masculine, it means something fully formed and ready for you to take up. So that's part of that burden lifted is the, the financial burden being lifted by this. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. I send you lots of love, lots of light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity to you all. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.